Hey guys, I'm back with a brand new video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys 20 plus hidden features of the iOS 11, features that Apple didn't mention, features that most people don't know. So let's get right into it. All right, first one is the dark mode. Now this is something that was rumored a lot that with iOS 11, we'll see a full dark theme, but it didn't really happen. But still, uh, you can go into uh, settings, accessibility, go ahead and click on display accommodation, invert colors. We have a new option called as smart invert. Now, again, it's not a complete black, filter or black theme on your phone uh, but still it is better than classic inward which was like this and when you enable the smart inward it basically only changes the color of the display the images and the media and the app stuff remains the same so you can see that it doesn't look that bad and give you that uh, dark mode kind of look so I kind of like it especially in the messaging app uh, it almost feels like you have applied a theme on your iPhone it's like a dream come true for Apple fans but personally I wanted to see an Apple theme engine uh, with iOS 11 but that didn't happen so uh, yeah this is the closest you can get uh, with the hidden smart invert feature next up we have advanced one-handed mode now previously we had this where we tap the home button a couple of times and the apps come down and you can you know easily press it with one hand but now uh, you can do it a bit more uh, advanced way where you can 3d touch the globe in the keyboard and get this if you press this here it goes there and if you want it on the left you can do that by pressing this so um, this is something that was available on Android for quite a lot of time but now it's finally here on iOS so a bit advanced uh, form of one-handed operation right there Next up, we have type to Siri feature where you don't have to speak to your AI assistant every single time and look like a jerk in public. So now uh, with the help of this option, you can just type in whatever you want to search. So going into Siri and here you can see on the top, we have the type to Siri option. I've already enabled it. So, so every time I launch Siri, it uh, gives me this keyboard to type stuff. So let's say if I want to search weather in Canada if I search this okay. yes, and it shows me this Canada so um, yeah you don't have to speak you can type now with iOS 11 Apple showed that uh, the control center has gone uh, to new heights it's looking really cool with this new visual change but uh, what they did not mention is that you can actually customize the control center you can add or remove things uh, from this whole uh, cool UI so uh, first you go into settings go ahead and type in control center and holy moly that's a jackpot so we have so many things here first of all uh, the things that are on or in included as you can see torch timer calculator and camera that stuff you can see here if you don't want to have torch let's say if i remove it that disappears and down here we have more controls more things to add for example if i want to add let's say low power mode i can do that i can just instantly uh, have my phone on low power if i'm running on low uh, battery which i am by the way so that's a uh, fast way to do it same thing with the notes uh, magnifier uh, text size torch again so you can have so many things and you could just fill this thing with so many features so i just really really love it uh, the new control center really allows you to uh, have full customization and uh, yeah that's something that apple did not mention i don't know why uh, next up is screen recording you probably have seen it and this is like a hidden gem uh, with this uh, iOS 11 I mean it's a, it's really really hidden so um, with iOS 11 you can have the screen recording thing here with the control center so once enabled uh, you can see that it says record so you can go ahead and record gameplays record your conversation whatever you want to record and then to view the recorded video you have to go into photos and then uh, go ahead and select that video so now you can see that it is perfectly recorded uh, in really high frame rate it feels like it's recorded at 60 fps so you can do gameplay you can upload them on youtube and uh, yeah you don't have to install any third-party stuff now it's built in uh, with the ios 11. next up is advanced screenshots so let's say if i am in settings i want to quickly take a screenshot i would do the normal thing where i hold the power and um, the home button at the same time Okay, as you can see, take screenshot and after taking the screenshot, it kind of uh, glanced that thing here. So, oh my God, I have to do that again. So once you do that, 
you see this and you click and now you have some advanced control so you can instantly crop or at the same time you can draw on your screenshot so that's nice and of course you can undo stuff uh, you also have this where you can change colors of your pen so uh, some nice drawing stuff uh, and cropping we also have this small plus icon which means more options so first we have the text and uh, this is where of course you can add some nice stuff let's say lol whatever and then you can you know resize this as well that is nice and then we have magnifier okay let's see magnifier where you can magnify um, the image that is nice a certain word if you want to send to someone you can do that and then also we have signature so uh, you can add your signature I've already added mine I can do that again let's say I do this weird signature done and I can add that so this is really good uh, you can send screenshot with your uh, with your signature on it. That's nice. Next up, if you go into settings and go into general and scroll all the way down, you can see now we have a shutdown button uh, right below the reset button. So I don't know why Apple included it. Maybe it's for those people who have broken power button so you can just quickly do that. So um, yeah, um, a not so cool but a hidden thing you can say with iOS 11. That's the dedicated shutdown button. With iOS 11, you get a dedicated option for emergency services. And here you can set up the emergency call and we turn on this auto call option. Uh, what this will do is that it will call uh, 911 or whatever the emergency number is uh, if you press the power button five times. So it's uh, good and Apple is taking this to the next level by having a dedicated option for this not hidden previously uh, with the iOS 10. Next up, we have the battery suggestions. So if you go into settings, go ahead, tap on battery. And this is where you're gonna see uh, the battery life suggestions from the software itself. So now currently I have the uh, auto lock uh, on never, so my phone will never sleep. So uh, it says that enable auto lock, that's gonna increase the battery. And uh, yeah, I mean, if you have some settings on your phone that's gonna be draining your battery, uh, the software will automatically suggest that you should go ahead and turn it off. So yeah, that's the new battery life suggestion. With iOS 11, instead of iCloud and storage option that we got previously with iOS 10, now we just have this option called as iPhone storage. Going into iPhone storage, you can see first it shows you the full um, status of your storage. Uh, as you can see how much it's used, how much it's free. Then we have some recommendations. Okay, some more recommendations here, such as optimizing photos, um, offload unused apps, more on that in a second. Messages in iCloud, so you can save those in iCloud uh, and that will save uh, the size or storage on your phone. Optimized photo is something that Apple uh, mentioned in their, in their event. So basically the full resolution photos and videos will be safely stored in iCloud and uh, your phone will have smaller or compressed size photos and videos uh, thus this will create more storage on your phone another new thing with iOS 11 that is not mentioned that is really really good uh, is the offload unused apps so there are a lot of apps that I don't use on my iPhone such as let's say garage band so uh, as you can see uh, it shows me that the app size is 1.56 gigs and uh, it has a 3 MB of document and data so I can offload the application and what this will do is that it's actually going to delete the application while backing up the uh, documents and data which basically gives you the option to reinstall the application and once you reinstall uh, all your app save um, app data your document basically will reappear so that's why it created that backup of 3MB so that's really nice uh, the apps or heavy things that you don't use you can delete them and if you want to reinstall them you can do that in future and have that data restored as well Another thing that I've noticed with iOS 11 is link sharing. So on previous iOS 10, uh, when you three touch the link in a messaging app, you basically get three options such as 
open the link, add the reading list or copy. Now with iOS 11, if you three touch, you get a option, fourth option called as share. So you can quickly share to compatible applications such as mail, reminder, you can add it to notes, uh, or you can do this um, airdrop thing, instantly drop it on your Mac or other iOS devices, quickly share that. With iOS 11, you get a new option called as show previews. Now, uh, what this is, is that whenever you get a text message or Instagram notification uh, or any other notification, you basically get a preview of that. So uh, you can have that on always, of course, that's the default option, or you can have it on unlocked. Uh, or you can have it on never. If you have it on never, uh, that means that the things uh, or the notification will not preview uh, and it will look like this. So you can see that if I swipe up, it says uh, notification it does not say which one liked my picture. So, so it's just a bit more advanced form of uh, locking your phone completely. If you don't want someone to see your notification, you can do that. With iOS 11, you can actually scan QR codes with the default application so you don't have to, um, you know, install any other third party application. So open up camera and point the camera towards a QR code like this. And this basically scans this automatically and you can see it uh, prompts to open the Safari. So it says open audionic.co in Safari, whatever the product is, and it takes you directly to that website. So yeah, a really good addition with iOS 11 is scanning of QR code. In iOS 11, the app icons in the dock will have no text. So whatever application I want to add, let's say if I want to add Geekbench 4 here, you can see the text disappears. So yeah, that's something cool, I guess. Safari has a new privacy option which allows you to turn off uh, cross-site tracking which is a security exploit. So turning it on will give you a bit more privacy so that's something that Apple added uh, with the default Safari options. Live photos now work with FaceTime as well. So basically you can send FaceTime photos as well as save them on your iPhone. Currently I can't show you guys because uh, my iPhone is taking so much time to activate FaceTime. But, but if you have an iPhone on iOS 11 with FaceTime activated, then you can definitely see that cool option of live photos. And last but not the least is the AirPod customization. Go to settings, then go to Bluetooth. Here you'll see your AirPods and type this I button. This will take you to your AirPod settings. And for some reason, I'm still seeing the old iOS 10 settings, but this is the new settings. And this will allow you to have custom actions on separate right and left uh, AirPods. So uh, you can have the right for Siri and left for play slash pause. So App Store is not the only application that has been redesigned. We also have a new look with the podcast app, uh, which is looking much more cleaner and have these tabs, so listen now, library, browse, and search. So it's looking a bit better compared to the older version, that's for sure. So yeah, these were the 20 plus cool hidden iOS 11 features that most people don't know that Apple didn't mention. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.